वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग फंडा फैमिली दिस वीडियो इज अ पार्ट ऑफ माइक्रो प्रोसेसर एट जीरो एट सिक्स वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई बी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू द बेसिक डिफरेंस इन बिटवीन मेमरी मैप डाइयो एंड आईओ मैप डाइयो बिफोर आई एक्सप्लेन यू द एक्जेक्ट डिफरेंस इन बिटवीन मेमरी मैप डाइयो एंड आईओ मैप डाइयो माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स यू शुड नो वॉट इज मेमरी मैप डाइयो एंड वॉट इज आई ओ मैप्ड आईओ माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेन वी टॉक अबाउट मेमरी मैप डाइयो इन दैट आई ओ डिवाइजेस आर ट्रीटेड एज मेमरी सो हियर इंटरफेसिंग ऑफ आई ओ डिवाइजेस इज बीन डन एज पर मेमरी इंटरफेसिंग एंड वेन वी टॉक अबाउट आई ओ मैप डाइयो सो इन दैट आई ओ डिवाइजेस आर ट्रीटेड एज आई ओ डिवाइज एज पर इंटरफेसिंग ऑफ माइक्रो प्रोसेसर एंड हियर यू विल बी प्रोवाइडिंग दैट इंटरफेसिंग विद रिस्पेक्ट टू कंट्रोल सिग्नल्स which are there with io devices so how we have decoding of io devices how we will be providing control signals how there will be complexity in interfacing all those things that i'll be going to discuss in this video step by step so let us see the basic differences in between memory map io and io map io step by step so here my dear students when we talk about memory map io and io map io then with memory map io input output devices are treated as memory so you can consider like whatever io device is there that will be operating as per memory when you interface it with 8086 and with io map io input output devices are treated as input output here my dear students when we talk about addressing then you should know with 8086 we have total 20 address lines a0 to a19 and with memory map io we will be using all 20 lines for addressing while with io map io we don't use all 20 address lines there are some devices which is having 8 bits of addressing and some devices are having 16 bits of addressing so at max we will be using a0 to a15 total 16 bits of address lines for io map io right so with memory map io we will be using 20 bits of addressing and for io map io we will be using at max 16 bits of addressing my dear students as per 20 bits of addressing how many possible addresses are there with memory map io 2 to the power 20 so 2 to the power of 20 means what it is 1 mb of addresses while with io map io there are total 16 address lines so as per that you can have total how many address 2 to the power 16 means 64k addresses right so maximum possible addresses with memory map io is 1 mb and maximum possible addresses are 64k with io map io my dear students this addressing lines also justifies how many devices can be interfaced right so as per 20 address lines maximum total devices will be 2 to the power 20 right with memory map io and with io map io maximum devices which we can interface it with 8086 that will be 2 to the power 16 right but my dear students we don't interface that many devices this is what just the figure which i am explaining you that it explains you how many devices can be interfaced right we don't interface 1 mb number of devices right but you should know by having decoding we can address that many devices now my dear students let us try to understand decoding complexity so here you see how many address lines are there 20 address lines are there so you'll be observing decoding is very complex because of 20 address lines that is used for full decoding i'm not talking about partial decoding here when you want to have full decoding then you'll have to use all 20 address lines right and as if you use all 20 address lines your decoding will be complex as if you use decoder then there will be many lines that you will be having for decoding of ics right those ics will be there as per memory mapped io ics while when we talk about io mapped io 
in that we use 16 address lines and as per that you will be having less complexity in decoding of IC as you need to decode 16 address lines for full decoding right. So here you can say we need to use 4 less lines compared to memory map DIO. So it is having less complexity in decoding of IO devices. Here based on complexity you can say decoding is expensive with memory map DIO and here decoding is cheap in terms of cost with IO map DIO. Now my dear students let us talk about control signals. Here you see IO devices are treated as memory. So control signals will be memory read and memory write in memory map DIO. And here in IO map DIO IO devices are treated as input output. So control signals for read and write that will be IO read bar and IO write bar. So control signals plays very essential role that you should know. For read and write operation we are providing this controls right. Now let us talk about how many instructions are used. So with memory map DIO we can use all the instructions which are there regarding memory right. The reason is here IO devices are considered as memory. So you can use all memory instructions to operate with IO. But when we talk about IO map DIO with 8086, we can access IO by using only in and out instructions, right? In instruction that is used to take data into accumulator and out instruction that we use it to give data on IO port from accumulator. So that is how instructions are used and when we talk about memory map DIO, my dear students here data transfer can be done in between any resistor and IO as all the instructions are possible for addressing IO devices and here with IO devices in IO map DIO you will be using only in and out instruction that is operating with accumulator right. So with 8086 we have AX accumulator resistor that will be exchanging data by using in and out instruction. So data transfer happens only in between AX and IO. So that is how differences are there in terms of usage of resistors. And you should know my dear students with memory map DIO you will be having larger circuit in terms of connection of gates and decoders. So it will be working slower and when we talk about IO map DIO in that it will be working faster as circuit configuration is having less number of gates and decoder. So it works faster due to less delay and that is working faster because of here we are having few number of devices as well as less complexity in decoding hardware, right? So my dear students, this is all about memory map DIO and IO map DIO. Still, if you have any confusion, you just post that in comment box. I'll be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.